hey guys so just got the redmi 4 active earphones from amazon for about 1200 rupees so let's see how they fare for the price in terms of sound quality and all the stuff that you should know i'll also try and compare with other products like the t100 from realme and also the oppo onco buds uh, in the upcoming video so definitely like this video subscribe let's begin so in the box you are getting the earbuds itself along with the extra ear dips and the manual and there is no charger which is a little disappointing however it's a type c so most people should have a cable so anyway these are some of the important specs for your reference now looking at the earbuds uh, they are fairly built i would say for the price uh, they don't feel cheap at all however i do not like the look of this grill that's part of the ear dip not the earbuds itself so that's a poor design in my opinion i would say in terms of aesthetics also it has a 34 mh battery inside which offers about five hours we'll test it out these also have touch controls and they work quite decently well i would say and uh, it covers pretty much all the basic functions and also looking at the charging case i do not like this dual tone however it feels uh, quite lightweight and it has about 440 mh which offers about 20 odd hours so it also supports google's fast pair however make sure you remove these stickers first and put them back in and uh, make sure the location and bluetooth is on and you can see it works pretty well also i tried their app xiaomi earbuds which is pointless to install because you can see here when i paired it up uh, it only has one option that is to just enable the low latency mode there is literally no other customization options and also you can enable this mode just by holding both the earphones at a time and it can get enabled easily so what is the point of installing this Anyway, now moving to the sound quality here, it is typically a very average sounding earphones. Talking about the bass, it lacks that impact. Particularly, the lower bass isn't that good, which you also call probably the deep bass. It isn't that deep. The high bass, the beats lack that punch, so not really impactful overall in terms of the bass. The earphones sound mostly monotonous in that the stereo separation and the instrument separation could have been a lot better. So all the instruments sound almost generic as if they have no character. The treble doesn't sound crisp and pretty much feels like it's laid back. The only thing that sounds good is the vocals. They are pretty decent I would say. So overall I would say it doesn't give you that rich sound experience. It's probably not really to do with the sound signature more than that. It's probably the encasing or the drivers itself to blame. I must say I have seen better sounding earphones around the same price. However, like I said, I will try and test this out with other similar earphones uh, so that you can have a better idea and make a good purchasing decision. And here is the calling experience. Hey guys, now I'm recording this from the Redmi Buds for earphones. Calling has been pretty decent, at least indoors. I had no issues Then there is no noise around. So pretty decent calling experience, I would say. And uh, let me know how this sounds. Also, I'm impressed with the gaming experience. The low latency mode works really well. Almost there is no lag in the sound. You could debate the clarity of footsteps, etc. However, latency wise, really good. Talking about the battery life, I tried them continuously for about two hours at the highest volume and they were showing me 60% left, which means they could last about four to four and a half hours. So finally, should you really buy this? I would say spend a little more and get some better sounding earphones if you are a music lover. Otherwise, you can still go for these if you are into spoken words speeches and stuff like that so wait for the other comparison videos anyway that's been it for this quick video guys thanks for watching like and subscribe i'll see you soon